shall become a plague. When the Spirit of God is talking, when the Spirit of God is in that prophet, giving you message, just know one thing that every other power before that Spirit is going to become nothing. Hallelujah. But one thing you must know, if for any reason you turn that prophet to your God, goodbye anymore. Hallelujah. I've spoken to I've spoken to Ayoruba some You are making the prophet to become God. That will never be in the name of Jesus. Huh? Are you with me? You see, past ten of that Zachariah. God uses so many things you cannot think of. So many insignificant things. He can use it to accomplish purpose. But the only thing I'm trying to ask you is, please, as much as possible, don't allow this prophet to come on you and make you to be worshipping prophet. Praise the Lord. We go back to the second, to the, we go to the second lesson. The Salonica chapter, first Salonica chapter 5. First Thessalonica chapter 5. Starting from verse 16. Now, the Bible is asking you for one thing. Verse 16 of it wants you to rejoice every now and then. It wants you to pray without season. And I have captioned that part of it have occasion always continue to pray and thank God. I said continue praying and thanking God every now and then. You must pray without ceasing. Verse 17 of that passage of flesh. Verse 17 says you must pray without ceasing. In other words, you must continue to pray God all the time. You must continue to pray and thank God. That is the only way you can receive that God has promised you. Hallelujah. If you want to get that thing that God has promised you, you must continue to pray and thank God all the time. Repeatedly, Apostle Paul stresses the importance of praying to God, of thanking God without ceasing. And you must ensure that you thank God all the time. Hallelujah. Paul, also in that Salonian uh, message. I want every one of us to pray unceasingly and to offer thanks to God all the time. Thanksgiving is the usual discipline that must be practiced just like praying and reading the word of God. Thanking God always what I'm trying to say is this. You must always be thanking God and praying. Because praying and thanking God is a decision that can make God do anything for you. Eh? Are you with me? Now, the key to success in life is rejoice, pray, and give thanks all the time. That's the excess of verses 
16, 17, and 18. Once you believe in this, God's faithfulness is going to be on your prayer. God will finally answer your prayers if you yourself believe in the prayer you are saying and you ensure that all the time you pray God. The last verse of that First uh, uh, Thessalonians. Sorry, let me let me get it out myself. First Thessalonians chapter five. Somebody there for me. First Thessalonians chapter five. Yes. Paul says, I don't know chapter 5. I just pick the last one there. Oh. No, no, let me pick verse 27. I shall you by the Lord that this grace you be read unto all holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be, will be with every one of us in Jesus' name. Hey, go ahead, Shamir. Amen. Amen. Grace of God with every one of us. Amen. Please ensure that you make sure you pray and thank God all the days of your life. Thank you. In